Are you looking for the noise cancellation that's on the newer RTX graphics cards, but say you just recently upgraded or you have an older GTX graphics card and you want that same performance of being able to cancel out loud noise that's not coming from your microphone? If so, stay tuned because NVIDIA has actually provided a way for GTX graphics cards to do the exact same thing. And we're going to be covering that in this video today. Roll the intro. What is going on guys, Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today we're gonna to be talking about RTX voice on GTX graphics cards. This is something that I think is super neat and it's gonna be very beneficial for people that do, you know, live streaming, YouTube, and a bunch of other things of where you need your audio processed to where it doesn't have the loud neighbor next door's music being picked up or this loud truck that's going down the road. And it just so you don't pick up that other junk. And if you've seen previous videos from other content creators and even streamers, you've seen probably some crazy stuff like a vacuum cleaner sitting right next to the microphone going as loud as possible and being on and it not picking it up from this microphone. Well, it actually is. It's just routing into the computer. And once it gets into the computer, um, RTX is voice canceling or audio noise suppression or whatever you want to call it is actually taking that audio and using AI to filter it out with your graphics card, giving you clean audio from your own microphone. And that's really awesome. But you know, with the prices of RTX cards right now, because of the availability of the 30 series being almost non-existent, it's cause the 20 series graphics cards to go up in price and even the 10 series that are out you know right now and been out for multiple years to go up as well so in this video we're going to be showing you how to do it with an rtx or a gtx card that is and how you can do it and nvidia has actually provided a way to do so with some software from them so we're going to be taking a look at that in this video so let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and take a look at how to set that up all right, so now we're over at the computer and I just wanna give a little brief demonstration of how awesome this is and how it works. And then I'll show you guys how to set it up. So if you wanna just know how to set it up, I'm gonna leave timestamps down below so you can jump forward to that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and tell you guys my little confession. And my confession is that I am currently playing white noise right behind the microphone and it is driving me absolutely crazy. And I also want to show you guys that I am using a GeForce GTX 1060 six gigabyte graphics card. So this is a GTX card. And how are we using RTX voice? Well, it's kind of stupid. And we'll talk about NVIDIA's naming convention and why that's dumb in a minute. But let's go ahead and open up RTX voice so I can turn off the noise suppression so you guys can hear that background audio that it's suppressing and removing. All right, so there is a possibility you hear this now and it is annoying. I don't like this. I like quiet and this is not quiet and this would be more than enough to definitely mess up your audio and make it sound not professional. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click the remove background noise from my microphone button and this may take anywhere from four to five seconds and it should remove the background audio. And we can see now that it is actually gone. It did take a little bit longer than five seconds, and that's something I want to mention. This is not perfect, but it is darn good at removing some audio, and I think it's awesome. And the thing is, it's an AI algorithm, and essentially it tries to figure out what sounds are not your voice. And it's actually a lot better if I'm not being quiet and I start talking and it's searching for that sound because it knows immediately that's not that person's voice. Let's cut it out of the audio. And it's really, really good. And yeah, so that is a brief demonstration. Now let's talk about where you can download this and why it's named RTX voice yet. It works with GTX cards. So I'm going to link this also in the description down below. This is a link to NVIDIA's article or their just set up guide for how to use it and talking about which program you need for which GPU because it is super dumb. Like it makes no sense. And yeah, we'll talk about that too. So getting started first, if you have an RTX GPU, you want to download NVIDIA Broadcast. NVIDIA Broadcast is set up and made to work for RTX cards and the RTX voice app is what you're going to want to use if you have a GTX GPU. And it's really dumb because whenever the RTX cards came out, the only way to filter the audio was the through the RTX voice app. And it's now 
like completely swapped. They want you to download NVIDIA broadcast. And if you got GTX cards, you can now use the RTX voice app to filter your audio and really, really dumb. And that's about as far as I'm going to get into it, but you can go here and you can download whichever one that you need for your computer. So now I'm going to go ahead and talk about what are input devices, what are output devices and how to use that filtered microphone because it sets up a virtual microphone for you. So you can actually make sure that you're pushing out to your stream or your recordings, your suppressed audio to get rid of all that background noise. So getting started first, your input devices, those are gonna be your microphone. So if you click on that list, once you've downloaded it, you're probably gonna see every microphone that's plugged into your computer. If you have a headset with a microphone, that's probably gonna show up. If you've got a USB microphone, that's gonna show up. If you've got an audio interface like me, that's probably gonna show up here too. To set this up, it's really easy. You just select your microphone and then you check this box and you adjust the noise suppression to wherever you see fit. Now, when I'm having white noise six inches away from the freaking microphone, yeah, you're gonna wanna jack it up. But in most use cases, you should be able to turn it down to a moderate level so where it's not gonna pick up background noises, but your audio is still going to be um, really crisp. So the more that you turn up the suppression, yes, the more it's gonna compress your audio, the more it's going to probably make your audio and your microphone sound not as good, but it still sounds pretty dang good for removing as much background noise as it does. And I don't know of any other way to do that live without having some really advanced audio plugins and audio programs running. So the fact that this can do this and it's this lightweight and this easy to set up is really awesome. So yeah, select your microphone, check this box, adjust this to where you can see that your microphone looks like it's not picking up stuff too bad. Your output devices, this is essentially going to be anything you hear from. This could be your headphones, speakers. You can do the same thing with that audio. So if you've got friends that play music while they're sitting in Discord and it bothers you, check that remove background noise button and adjust it as you see needed to start removing their music and stuff in the background or their game that is driving you crazy. So this is really awesome, gives you two options. And this moves me on to my next point, And this is to go to your audio control panel, or you can right click on sounds and uh, right click on the speaker and click on sounds. Or for those of you that don't know, we'll just open up our control panel and We'll click on hardware and sound, and then we'll click on the sound panel, and this should open up this right here. This is our sound panel. And we'll click on recording, and I'll show you what I mean. So we have our microphone. This is actually my audio interface that my microphone's plugged into, and it shows that it's getting audio, but it also shows something else is getting audio. Now, it might show your other microphones too if they're in the same room or if they've got something hooked up to them. But what you're gonna look for is NVIDIA RTX Voice. What NVIDIA RTX Voice is, it's a virtual microphone that is essentially you can think about your microphone being here, RTX Voice being here, and then the virtual microphone being at the very end. So step one is take your microphone and then step two is push your microphone into RTX Voices app, and then it removes background noise and does all the suppression. And then step three is to push that clean audio without background noise into their virtual microphone. So this essentially gives you an input source that you can plug into your program and use, and it's going to remove that background noise. So I'll go ahead and show you what that would look like now. I'm gonna open up Audacity and you could do this inside of OBS as well. It shows up just like any other microphone would inside those programs. And it's as simple as selecting something like NVIDIA RTX voice. I'm gonna go ahead and click record and you can see my audio is now coming through here. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up that white noise again and I'm gonna keep talking and see if we're hearing that white noise. I don't believe we are. And that is pretty awesome in my opinion. So. The fact that it is not picking up that white noise throughout here, because if it was, the white noise would be all over the place and going crazy. And essentially we have filtered our audio and our audio is gonna sound way better, way better for our viewers, whether you're streaming or whether you're recording. And you can do it all on your GTX graphics card. 
So yeah, guys, that's going to be all for this video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Go ahead and destroy the like button. Get subscribed if you guys aren't already. And while you're there, turn on some notifications. That way you're notified whenever new videos come out from here on How To Tech. Also, if you guys aren't a member of our community Discord, go ahead and check it out. It'll be linked in the description down below. We've got over a few thousand people in there, and it's a great place to share your content that you make in your live streams in the appropriate channels, and then also to get other updates from new videos and content that's coming out on this channel. Also, if you want to support the channel financially, we've got YouTube memberships. Be sure to check those out to get early access to videos and then also to have your name on the screen like the other people that are up there right now. Thank you so much to all of our current members. You guys help the channel in more ways than you probably even understand, but thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And everybody else here from How To Tech does as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Chad from How To Tech helping you take your tech to the next level, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.